Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars and it's time for a Luthier's Quick Tip. If you'd like to help support this channel, visit eGuitarPlans.com and buy a plan. Now on with the video. Welcome to another episode of Luthier Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to talk about my guitar setup stand. The other day a viewer had written in and asked, what kind of a table do I use when I'm setting up a guitar? And this is it. What I needed in a table is something that I could walk around because when I'm doing fret work, I'll be working on one side and then I'll have to quickly switch to work on the other side. So having a large table makes that really difficult, especially if it's up against a wall. So I wanted something I could put in the middle of the room that I could walk around. I also wanted to have a place to support tools and a place to hang accessories. So this is what I came up with. And I'll bring you in and I'll show you a little bit closer exactly how I built this thing. All right, so let's start down here at the bottom. Everything that I used to build this table was scavenged from my scrap pile in my workshop. And I started out with a 4x4, and this is 36 inches tall. And then I attached 2x4s to form the legs, and then some braces to add stability. All of this has been assembled using uh, two inch long or two and a half inch long number nine construction screws. And then under each leg is an adjustment foot so that I can set each foot and keep the table stable on uneven floors, which is a problem in just about any workshop. Now up top here I have a length of extruded aluminum which I salvaged from my Inventables x carve that I retired a couple of years ago. And this is T-slot type extrusion. So there are slots on every surface and that allows me to use T-nuts. And in doing so I was able to take some of the additional hardware left over from the x carve and use that to attach this table, which is a uh, three-quarter inch thick slab of plywood. It's 15 inches wide and 15 inches long. Then to the back I took another smaller piece. This is about a 12 by 12 inch square piece of half inch thick plywood and I attached it to the back to serve as a support for putting my tools while I'm working. And then up front I used some of the hardware to attach another piece of three-quarter inch thick plywood that has a neck contour cut into it. And then what I did was I covered the top of this table as well as this neck support with material cut from a dollar store doormat. And this works really well as a cushioning layer. And then what I will often do when I'm working on a guitar to protect the finish is I'll just lay a couple of, these are dollar store microfiber fur towels. They're really super soft. And I'll just lay those on top and then place the guitar directly on top of that so that I can do the work that I need to do. Now, if I was going to make any changes, one thing I would probably do is make this neck support a little bit different because I'm kind of locked into this height. And I'd like to have something that's adjustable. So I'm going to probably work on something for that in the future. Now to attach this extruded aluminum to the leg itself, what I did was I cut a notch on each side of the 4x4 and attached 3 quarter inch thick plywood on each side. And it was attached to the leg using a couple of those uh, 2 inch long number 9 construction screws. And then up top here, I slid in a couple of T-nuts on each side and then attached it using the appropriate size um, machine screws, which screw right into those T-nuts. Then to add a little bit of additional support, because I found this was a little bit wobbly, I took a piece of uh, pine wood, cut it to shape, and then wedged it into the space underneath there. And, you know, again, this was all assembled using bits and pieces I had in my shop, uh, salvaged out of my work uh, scrap pile. And I wasn't working from any kind of a plan. So I think if I were to do this over, I would have this extension, this center part of the 4x4 go all the way up. But having it go back like this adds a bit more stability towards the back of it. 
So that, that does work fairly well. Now another nice feature is that there's plenty of room all the way around to attach hooks to hang accessories such as my Dremel. All right, guys, well, that's this week's Luthier's Quick Tip, a really simple work table that you can build in just an hour or two in your own workshop. And before you know it, you'll be walking around your table doing all the fret work and setup work, unfettered by the confines of your workbench. So until the next episode, if you have any comments or questions, post them down below. If you don't subscribe and you like watching videos on building guitars, hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications each time I post up a new video, which is about twice a week. And if you want to show support for my channel, which I always encourage, head over to eGuitarPlans.com and there you can purchase plans for guitars, as well as a lot of the tools that I use to build guitars, such as my workbenches, my CNC machine, my pickup winder, um, my drum sander, and even if you don't build one of those tools or one of the guitars, the money you spend really helps me to keep this channel going. So uh, until the next episode, take care and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.